shout out to Michael Sean Yoder. He had requested this <clears throat> a while back, but it was in Messenger and not in the re community request tab. But since he had waited such a very long time, I told him that I would do it this once. So this is Hunter Hayes, Dear God, Mini Documentary. I just want to make sure everybody knows what I'm saying. Mini Documentary, Hunter Hayes, Dear God, and uh, it's already been blocked twice. So I'm going to make more stops in between, okay? Here we go. So, did I tell you about my ride with Andy Grammer? Yes. I did? Dear God. Yeah. This is Dear God. And I'm really, really excited about this. I love this song. I love what it says. It's kind of scary for me, because ideally, I wouldn't be doing polyphonic. Ideally, there'd be resolve in a, in a song of faith for me. And there's no resolve in this song. The thing is, the Dear God part, I wanted it to be about a, like, a, like a mad prayer. Um, because I think so often people disassociate themselves with faith because they think they can't be mad at it. Um, the whole thing is just like, I, you know, not feeling good enough. Because I really honestly have to go, th go through that conversation in my head every day. And it gets really old. And it, the chorus ends with, Dear God, are you sure that you don't mess up? How do you guys feel about that? Dear God, are you sure you don't mess up? You know, we saw Joyner Lucas uh, make a video where he was drunk in church and he was crying because he wanted Nipsey Hussle back, he wanted Tupac back, he wanted, you know, all of the moms and daughters, <clears throat> nieces and nephews, dads, brothers that were taken from us. You know, he's saying, take all these bad guys, you know, take, take so-and-so, take so-and-so. You can't, you know, you, so many people resonated with that. And I know religion's a whole different topic I don't like to get mixed up in. But being, you know, part of the Catholic Church when I would ask these questions, they would often tell me, you know, you're supposed to pray and ask for grace. You know, grace that in time God will give you answers, grace that happening for a reason. It maybe will be time um, in the future, things will be revealed. You know, maybe not now. And the irony is that I don't believe that he doesn't, and we know that he doesn't. We know that everything is for why we left it open ended. I know. Here I go again. You made a man this fat. You made a heart that can break. You showed me the road, let's travel. Knowing I'm gonna run away. You make me love so hard when everything I love just leaves. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with me? You made a man this fragile. You made a man with a heart that could break. Wow. Whatever he went through was so painful that he's questioning his own faith, his own, even though he says, you know, of course not. We're, God is perfect. This is really profound. It's profound to me because I would never dare think of something like this. Of course, when somebody we love dies, we're just like, why, 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 you know? Maybe it's cliche to a lot, but of course we do that because we're sad and we want that person back for selfish reasons. And in time, if we're lucky, it lessens the hurt. And we don't say why. We tell ourselves so it was that person's time or they were sick. It's been, they're not sick anymore, you know. And 
this is I really like his message and I like the fact that he's very clear with what he's doing. And why does my life have to hurt so much? Why can't I find any peace of love? And why do I feel like I'm not enough? Dear God, are you sure that you don't mess up? Can we still call it praying? All that I do is sit in here cursing, cursing your name again. The truth is it's not even you, it's just me that I'm up against. But you made me this. Can we share the blame for this? Mm -hmm. Cause after all, you made a man that's fragile. You made a heart that can break. I know you showed me the road that's traveled. But when I'm gonna run away, you make me laugh so hard. When everything I love just leaves. Are you sure there's nothing wrong with me? Cause why does my life have to hurt so much? Why can't I find any peace of love? And why do I feel like I'm not enough? Dear God, are you sure that you don't, that you don't mess up? Nothing. There's nothing you don't make. I know you got your reasons. This shit's just hard to take. I don't mean to criticize. I know I'm hard to teach. I know you tell me there's nothing wrong with me. Yeah, but Why is it everybody that I love just leaves? I know that it's really hard sometimes to get a hold of me. I, know, I understand that. And I'm trying to devise a plan of being better on Facebook, being better on IG, Twitter even. Um, but there are some individuals that need my help and need to talk. And I may only be able to reach out to three people, but to those three people, and for me, it's, it means the world. Some people are going through a great deal, you know, whether it be depression, family issues, um, asking themselves if they're good enough. Some people, it's just to catch up. It's been so long. They've been with me for, since the beginning, day 15 maybe and I need help or I need advice. You know, I'm... You guys know, I'm just a nurse, I'm just a mom. This is not something I just said, hey, I just plan on being a YouTuber. It's just kind of like, hey, I just need to kill some time. Now I'm killing sleep time. And I am doing things that, you know, are making a difference. It makes me happy that I get to talk to people that maybe just need an ear. So. Let's go. I'm trying though. I'm trying. But why does my life have to hurt so much? Just remember every day you have the choice to be happy, to hug somebody, to be grateful. We all have problems. 
We all have problems that make us feel sad, that make us feel mad. 90% of how we deal with it is our attitude. It always looks greener on the other side. People tell me all the time, it must be so different. Oh, <laughs> I have like 20 jobs, 30 jobs, lots of jobs. You guys don't see everything else. I've got so much to do. But that's what it is. So let's go. We just got to do what we can and smile and try to laugh together and listen to some good music while we get chores done. Let's go.